All right, you guys, so this is video 116 or 117. I can't honestly remember, but in today's video, this is going to be part two of renovating a million dollar mansion in The Sims 4. All right, so in the last video, you guys see me remove all the landscaping and try to put together a little design for this kitchen. And I put together this design right here, but I think I want to switch this up because I came up with a new idea. All right, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to just go ahead and remove. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and remove all this stuff out of here and put together my new design for this kitchen. All right, so I'm not even going to lie. The design that I came up with is basically pretty similar to the design I just had. It's just a few little changes to it. So I'm I'm just go ahead and paint in here with this modern paint swatch but this is actually called the pretty the plain but pretty paint swatch i'm gonna run this throughout this whole house and i'm not sure uh, which floors i want to use yet i'm gonna come up with a floor design once i put the cabinets in and figure out which color cabinets i want to go with okay so i'm really stuck on which cabinets i want to actually use in this kitchen should i use the home chef hustle kitchen pack or should i use this kitchen pack right here i forgot i think this is the jungle adventures i'm not sure but i'm gonna place like three of these here or I should do four. Or I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place one here on this end, and I'm going to remove this one right here. And I need this one on BB to move objects, so I'll be able to place items where I want to. Now that that's on, I'm gonna place like a either a door or an archway here. Yeah, I'm gonna place an archway here. I wish I could make this archway a little bit bigger, but I can't right now. So I'm gonna place that there. Remove this cabinet because the stove will go here. And I was thinking, should I use the stove from the Jungle Adventures pack? Place that there. And above this, I'm gonna place some. Um, regular full tile cabinets above all of this like that and above this stove i'm gonna use a half a tile cabinet because i'm gonna actually grab the stove vent from the new home chef hustle pack and place there and i think since this is gonna be such a big kitchen i want to do double stack cabinets so i'm gonna just place these cabinets on top of here and i'm not even gonna lie these whites does not match so i'm gonna just go ahead and change the color of these upper cabinets to black with the brown handles and i don't understand why when sims update the game they don't update the like colors so they all match i don't understand that but i'm gonna have to do those upper cabinets in black and maybe we change the stove in color should i change the color of the cabinet handles or should i just leave it white i'm gonna leave it white for now until i figure out what backsplash and stuff i want to use so right here i'm gonna place an island and i think i want to do that maybe three cabinets why should i do it four i seen somebody in the last video say three cabinets is perfect so i'm gonna do it three i'm gonna just scoot it up a little bit add these cabinets behind it just to make this island a little bit bigger and add the island cabinets right behind those cabinets like that and I feel like this island is the perfect size now it's not too big or it's not too small for this kitchen and over here on this side i'm gonna place a cabinet here and i think what i'm gonna do is the double stack ovens yeah i think i should do the double stack ovens so i'll place this cabinet here actually put my refrigerator here and i'm gonna just do that in white grab a full tile cabinet and place here i'll grab half a tile cabinet and put above this refrigerator and double stack it like I did over there. I think we might need to raise this up a little bit. Yeah, I think I need to raise these up a little bit like that. And I'm gonna do the double stack ovens over here. I'm gonna place that cabinet there. Grab a regular oven like this one right here in this gray and white color and place it inside there. And I know it's gonna keep disappearing, but all you if this happens in your game, all you gotta do is move the cabinet out like that. The oven will return, slide the cabinet back in in place, and then move it over one more time and the oven should just jump right back into it. I'm gonna go ahead and select the cabinet press all four back buttons press circle twice and go up on the d-pad a few times maybe like that high copy the cabinet place it under it copy this cabinet and place that under that and you got to do the same little thing with the cabinet just to make sure the oven comes back and that's back and now you can place your cabinet above it or i should use two half a tile cabinet how should i do that can a regular size cabinet no that can't fit under there oh uh, it looks a little goofy but should i use that or should i just use two half a tile cabinets yeah i think i'm gonna just use two half a tile cabinets and just so this side piece right here one looks weird i'm gonna just build a wall beside it okay that looks a little awkward but it's the sims you gotta make sacrifices okay so i'm thinking we move the refrigerator to the other side okay like that mm, kind of hating this design a little bit i'm gonna just go with it for now though and plus is the design i never did so i'm gonna just go with this for now all right so now that i need to figure out what backsplash i want to use should i use this brown tile backsplash this is a backsplash that i never actually use so maybe i might try this out in this video not 
absolutely didn't mean to place that there. Okay, so should I use that brown backsplash? Drop that on the comment section. I'm gonna leave it here for now, and I'm gonna see what y'all say in the comment section. All right, so I'm not even lie. I like these hollow floors right here, so I think I'm gonna just run this throughout the whole house, and then like different rooms, I'll switch it up. Yeah, maybe I use those hollow floors, and I'm thinking I'll change that backsplash color definitely. Maybe I use this backsplash right here in a brownish color like this. I don't know. It does kind of look good though. Yeah, I'm gonna use that. Oh, and I love these lights right here. I'm gonna place three of these above this island, or should I just do two because how big they is? Is three reaching? I feel like three is reaching. Maybe I should use two and then slide it in like the middle, like right here and right here. Or should I slide them over a little bit? Oh, uh, why do I keep grabbing the cabinet? Slide it over just a tiny bit like that. I feel like that's perfect. And at this island, I'm gonna place some bar stools like that. Man, I'm still thinking about this double stack oven. It's kind of ugly. Maybe I just remove that and use the regular oven. Oh, or I replace these cabinets right here and put the double stack oven over here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna put the double stack oven over here. So I'm gonna have to raise this up, press all four back buttons, press circle twice and go up on the D-pad a few times. Place another cabinet under it like that. And boom, you got a double stack oven. Now I just need to grab some cabinets or maybe I'll just grab one cabinet like that and place above it. Now I'm gonna just grab two of these half a tiles. No, I'm gonna use a full tile. Yeah, I'm gonna use a full tile. And over here, I just leave it as a plain design. I feel like this looks way cleaner than the last design I had. All right, so I might as well just go ahead and remove this oven, place a cabinet back right there, and place a stove top in this like that. Maybe in a different color. Uh, I don't know. They don't really got no colors that match with this kitchen. Maybe I'll just use that. Something over here still looks plain, though. I don't know, but I like the way this kitchen looks. It's just something over here that just looks plain. Like, looks kind of boring in this area. I don't know what to do over here. Anyways, I'm going to grab a sink and place in this island. And this is a big house, and the new dishwasher that came in the Home Chef house pack it's such a small dishwasher that i'm gonna place one here and place another one right on this side too i think so this don't look funny i'll just have to take a cabinet and place on the side of this double stack oven and i'm thinking with this island we do something different on the back side i have it back and then on the front is a white is white cabinets should i do it like that i'm gonna leave it like that drop down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think on the island i kind of like that all right you guys but that's my kitchen design for now y'all drop down in the comment section and let me know what y'all think it is and i'm gonna catch you guys in part three of renovating this million dollar mansion.